and welcome to the shop. A while back, I purchased a pressure pot so that I can begin casting some of my own blanks. I did a video on purchasing the pot and all of the parts you need to modify it from a paint pot into a pressure pot. I'll put a link to that video in the comments below. What we need to do today is, these pots all have a concave bottom. It might be kind of tough to see because of the black interior of the pot, but you can see a little better on the bottom. If you set a mold in there, that mold is going to set on an angle and it's not going to cast properly. You're going to have more resin on one side of the mold than the other. So what I'm going to do today is just build a simple floor for the bottom of my pot so that any molds I put into the pot will set level and will cast properly. The inside dimension of the pot is nine and a half inches. And I know you can't see it in the video, but down here at the bottom, there's a little lip that sort of juts out maybe a sixteenth of an inch. So I believe what I'm going to do is start by cutting a circle to nine and a quarter inches, and I should be able to drop it right down in there, and it should seat right along the top of this concave section of the pot. I've been told by some casters that they use sand in the bottom of their pot to level things out. Some say that they use rice. Uh, I had a few pieces of MDF, but I was really concerned about all of those materials holding moisture, which is something that I don't want inside my pot. A while back, I was given a piece of tinted Lexan. What I'm going to do is cut a nice little nine and a quarter inch circle out of this. It won't hold any moisture, and if anything does get below it, I'll be able to see through it, and I can pull it out and clean the bottom of the pot. I grabbed a compass, and I set it to four and five eighths. That should give me a perfect nine and a quarter inch circle. What I want to do is try to set my circle up to where I save as much of this Lexan as possible for future projects. I think this right here is a good point, so I'll just make a mark. And right there, I know it's going to be tough to see. I'm going to lay that there for a second. I'm going to grab a black marker and I'm going to darken that dot. I'm going to start by drilling a hole right down through that center point. I drilled a hole right at the center point that is the same size as a nail that I have on my circle cutting jig. I really need to remove some of this excess material, but the problem is the throat on my saw is not deep enough. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this side of the circle, round it off a little bit. That will remove some of the excess material and give me enough room to slide this, this piece of Lexan into the saw and cut it across this scribed line to get rid of the excess material. I got my circle cut. Now I had a little bit of trouble on the bandsaw. The blade on the bandsaw wants to wander a little bit. That one's tough to tension down. It's not a real high dollar bandsaw, so it's okay, but it's not perfect. So what I did is I took my jig, I just flipped it around backwards. I remeasured from my sanding disc on my sander out four and five eighths of an inch, and I put my uh, disc on there and just spun it and rounded it. What I found is when this disc was nine and an eighth inches, it went down into the pot, but it stopped about right here. So the pot must also taper just a tiny bit. So I went back, I took another eighth of an inch off. This is exactly a nine inch disc, and it fits beautifully right inside the bottom of the pot. Now I've got a great floor that is level, and I won't have to worry about my molds tipping to one side or the other. I'd like to thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you found it useful and informative. Uh, the next step I'll be taking in my casting adventure is to build a tray system that I can drop down in here so that I can have maybe two or three shelves to slide molds onto to sit down into the pot. I hope you join me for that one. I hope you enjoyed this one. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. Have a great day, everybody.